students welcome back um last uh, in last session we discussed about uh, the sub surface investigation right um by now it should be clear that what is sub surface investigation why it is carried out why do you need to perform those site investigation tests and the reports which come from the test why it is important all that is uh, already discussed in the last session uh, we had stopped over the sub surface investigation method which was known as boring right so quickly let us get back to the methods and then i shall move further with the boring methods which we have left behind it is kind of very much short only uh, two types of boring are left and then we shall start with the shallow foundation so a uh, quick revision uh, with the flow chart you can see over here is that uh, the different types of boring are auger boring auger and shell boring wash boring rotary boring and percussion boring so i had discussed already about the auger boring uh, let us have a quick revision quick glance at it so that it becomes fresh into your mind that what i had taught in last session so this was your first type of boring called auger boring uh, i had showed you how the method works how the soil sample is collected how the helical auger uh, i had also said that there are uh, different other types of augers existing in the world in the market as well uh, so uh, basically what you can see in the video over here is your auger boring right uh, the video which you can see gives you an example that how this type of boring works so uh, how the soil sample is collected all these things have been discussed in the last lecture moving forward uh, to the next type of boring that is your wash boring now you have seen that uh, to extract the ground water when there is shortage of water when there is shortage of potable water drinking water uh, when this shortage arises we generally perform boring and uh, extract the water from the uh, ground water table and then uh, it is used for the human kind so uh, here the method will be a little bit same uh, let us discuss so uh, you can see in the picture over here uh, look at the picture uh, you can see that there is a casing a pipe a, a pipe is inserted a pipe is inserted a perforated casing perforated pipe those which having holes you know what is perforated is inserted into the ground into the bore hole first of all a bore hole is created then the perforated casing is inserted in the center in the between you can see that a drill rod is inserted now all of these arrangement is supported with the help of you can see the triangular part those are known as pipe drillings right that is a part you have to label all these parts when you are drawing the sketch of wash boring so you can see that it is supported with the help of tripod that is the pipe drillings right a casing of the pipe steel perforated casing is inserted and a, a drill rod is sent from the center and this drill rod will cut the surrounding soil now a jet of water a jet of water a wash of water is sent down and what will happen this will convert your the cut around soil into soil slurry and the next action this soil slurry along with the water which you have flushed inside will be extracted back with the help of suction pump which you can see in the image correct with the help of suction pump that is taken back correct so this kind of mechanism works for the wash boring now the soil slurry which is collected uh, it will have varying color as it will move down downward as it will uh, move to a greater depth so the change in soil slurry the change in soil slurry will decide what kind of soil we, we are dealing with according to various depths uh, look at the picture the next picture which you can see uh, this is the uh, sketch which you are supposed to draw okay in this you can see the perforated pipe the casing is inserted the casing is having a uh, sharp edges knifing blades at bottom the drill bit is inserted in the center all these is supported with the help of pipe drilling then you can also see that a flush of water is sent inside and it is taken back with the arrows you can see 
it is taken back with the help of suction. Now, this particular action of flushing the water inside, converting to soil slurry and taking it back is known as chopping and jetting action. Um, so, as I said that the change in soil slurry, the change in color will decide the type of soil which you are dealing with. Uh, in the left picture, uh, whichever is appearing to you, the picture which I uh, uh, showed you just now, you can see the real arrangement that how it takes place on the side and uh, I think definitely you have seen on the side this type of boring as well. Okay, moving forward to next, rotary and percussion boring. Now what is rotary boring, what is percussion boring? They are somewhat kind of, uh, uh, let me say that uh, they are, they work for, they are used for soil containing boulders and gravel or rocks or stone. So, till now we are discussing about medium to soft soil, clay soil, cohesive soil. We are discussing about the soil particles. We are dealing with the soil. Now, if you are dealing with the soil which contains rocks and boulders, uh, let us say for horizontal, for horizontal boring, uh, for a tunnel boring, right? For a tunnel boring, you will have to carry out surely drilling process. So, that type of boring uh, vertically performed or horizontally performed is one of that is rotary boring, another is percussion boring. Both of these vary a little. Uh, what is percussion boring? So, it is specifically used when the soil is having boulders. And now, what you will do is, there is soil. There is soil containing boulders. So, you will pour water down this borehole uh, which you have carried out with the help of percussion pouring. It is generally done with uh, chisel or drill bits and water is poured and the pulverized material will be taken back by suction. And in the rotary pouring, core drilling is carried out. You can see various types of plates in the image which you, you can, uh, you would have seen, you would be familiar with it. So, this type of pouring is known as uh, rotary pouring, the first and the second is uh, next, we are going to move students with the shallow foundation. Okay. Um, till now, we discussed about the subsurface investigation methods. Right. We discussed about the introduction part. Uh, what are the purposes? What are the uses? What are the methods? All these things have been discussed. We discussed about the methods as well. So, now moving to the core part of your subject that is shallow foundation. Okay, um, I had discussed about foundation previously in my uh, session, in the first session that what is a foundation, why it is important, what are its uh, functions, uh, that it uh, forms the base of your structure. Uh, without foundation, you would not be able to construct any type of structure in the world. So, foundation is very much important to us. So, um, let me say that uh, foundation is nothing but one type of masonry work. What is masonry? It means that whenever you are constructing any wall or I am just taking a wall. Whenever you are constructing a wall with the help of certain building blocks, with the help of certain building units and these building blocks right, are bonded together with the help of suitable binding material and all together it becomes your masonry construction. Now your building blocks or building units can be concrete or stone or brick or composite material. There are lots of building units available. So it is nothing but one type of masonry work which is generally made out of RCC that is reinforced cement concrete. Have a look at the picture over here. Uh, you can see is the reinforcement cage for a column, correct? You can see that reinforcement cage for the column and at the bottom you can see is the square shape masonry work which is uh, something like a small slab, right? This is nothing but your foundation. This foundation, this putting. Now I am using another word called putting. When you talk about shallow foundation, the bottom masonry work, the slab which you can see in the picture is known as putting. So, 
the footing is your your it is your foundation it provides the platform it provides the uh, surface for the column to be constructed that is known as your foundation the foundation which you are seeing over here it is an isolated footing isolated that means single footing for one single column now this is the basic starting of your type of foundation and when you move further it will have different advancement different types so let us understand that uh, i said that it is constructed from concrete or brick or stone it can be pcc or rcc that is plain cement concrete and reinforced cement concrete now it is uh, surprising to know that you can also make the foundation using stones or timber or uh, there are variety of materials it, it generally happens that wherever the local material is available would be used as the construction material for the particular region it happens generally right uh, so have a look at the second picture which i just flashed right now you can see that the reinforcement cage of the uh, column is resting on the footing but now what is the difference it is not not just a flat single slab it is not a single footing it has masonry offsets in your language it has steps correct they are called masonry offsets sometimes these offsets are provided to have more area for load distribution right so these are the various types of foundation and uh, to define technically you have two types of foundation when the depth of the foundation is equal to the width of foundation imagine like a t shape right inverted t shape when the depth of the foundation is equal to width of the foundation then it is known as shallow foundation and when the depth of the foundation is more than the width of foundation then it is known as deep foundation correct have a look at other type of structure uh, you can see that timber is used over here right as a form work uh, this type of foundation which is having for a single column you have huge area this type of foundation is one type of shallow itself but it is a grillage foundation it is one of the types of shallow foundation next you can see here is uh, look at the picture very carefully you can see that uh, below the column below the column of the bridge right they are actually known as piers right so below that you can see there is a huge square shaped slab and below the slab you can again see that more concrete uh, concrete shaped structural vertical members are inserted into the ground that is nothing but your pile foundation it is an example of deep foundation correct so these are the uh, certain varieties of types of foundation uh, so now by the pictures you should be able to understand that what is a shallow foundation and what is a deep foundation right those in which the depth is less than or equal to the width is shallow and those in which the depth is uh, more than the width of foundation it is known as deep foundation so the images you saw over here were of shallow and deep both as well now you here you saw the pile foundation but that is not just one type of deep foundation existing in the construction industry there are also other types of deep foundation uh, let me say that uh, there is another type uh, after pile foundation comes your uh, cations cations is one type of deep foundation uh, it is much more different then the pile foundation which you are seeing over here it is very much different than that we'll have a full topic regarding the cations you also have another uh, prominent or important type of deep foundation that is copper depth copper depth that is again something very much different than pile foundation and cations we shall discuss step by step all of the types of foundation but for now you are clear that what is a shallow foundation and what are the varieties uh, let me say that it is just a basic overview you are having right now but uh, you are clear that what are the types of varieties available in the shallow foundation next more discussion will be done in the next session okay thank you students session okay thank you students